Hi there, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants and this is my indoor nursery. Today, we're gonna to talk about the signs of a starving carnivorous plant, which can be kind of hard for a new grower to understand, but thankfully we have other uh, branches of horticulture to help us out here in uh, diagnosing the problem. So the general rule of thumb is two insects of appropriate size per month per plant. I use liquid fertilizer and feed them mine weekly, but you know, you can go watch one of my grow guides and get a better idea of how that's all working out. But the better question is, how do I know the plant is hungry? Well, generally speaking, most hungry carnivorous plants will have this pale yellowish coloration that ends up forming, and it'll start generally on the edges of the leaves and then work its way in. Sometimes it'll be splotchy, but it'll generally be towards the outside edge of the leaf and then work its way in. This yellow color is a sign of nitrogen deficiency, and there is other kinds of deficiencies that can occur in these carnivorous plants, but mainly speaking, it's generally nitrogen deficiency. And uh, that's whenever you know you need to increase your feeding regimen. If a plant doesn't have enough nitrogen to grow, it's not going to have enough uh, to be able to produce sugar and be able to keep maintaining new growth and it'll slowly start to die. Just like if you, you know, if you fed somebody just nothing but potato chips or, uh, I don't know if potato chips are a good example, but something that's very low nutritional value and just gave them, like just nothing but candy. You know, eventually over time, they're gonna have vitamin deficiencies. They're gonna have issues with growth if they're a young kid. And they're an adult, eventually they're gonna run into all kinds of different weird disorders. It's not a good idea. So just like that, you need to have good nutrition in your carnivorous plants so they can grow well. Now, I use Maxi 161616 fertilizer mixed in uh, water and generally about uh, 100 to 200 parts per million is what I would suggest if you've never used it before to start your plant off. Slowly raise it up until you see that pale yellowish color go away. Once a week uh, spraying them generally works because it's a foliar fertilizer. However, if you're feeding live uh, insects, I would definitely increase that rate a little bit more. In the case of like a Venus flytrap, there's only so many traps that you can feed them. So you might not be feeding it a size appropriate insect. You might want to get something a little bit larger. Or if you're like doing something like mealworms or bloodworms or something like that, like maybe a couple more worms in the trap. And just remember, this pale yellowish coloration is generally speaking... Uh, going to be a feeding issue and nitrogen deficiency if like things like lighting and all other conditions are good so if you're just sitting there scratching your head like i don't know what's going on like my bladder wart or my uh nepenthes or my uh venus flytrap they're getting this like they're starting to go like this very light green and then slowly start turning a pale yellow yeah that's a sign they need, they need more nitrogen so I hope this was informative for you. I hope this uh, taught you a little bit more on how to find out if your plant's hungry or not. Please like and subscribe. If you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments. If you want to talk about plants, join the Carnivorous Plant Discord, link in the description, as well as a link to my nursery where you can come support me directly. Thank you so much for watching and happy growing.